Burnley nil, Preston nil. Well, that was probably the worst performance of the season. Um, no, it, it was the worst performance of the season. There's no question about it. Sunderland was an anomaly. It was a write-off. You know, we had an absolute shit show of a squad. Um, we were, from the minute one, we were... From probably minute one to sort of 15, we were pretty, f like, frantic and, fat, you know, like, really pacey and fast. But it was, it was uncontrolled. It wasn't... There was no end product from it. It was... It, it was just... There was... It, it just lacked a lot of organisation. It, it wasn't like the the dynamic, quick moving football that we have seen that's got into the final third. It was quite um, useless, really. We just didn't look like we really knew what to do with the ball. We were just sort of running around and passing it as fast as we can with no real sort of aim and direction. And then after that, we just fell off completely. We were completely static. Um, players were scared to take risks you know it, there were plenty of times where the um where, where, where a pass was on or the you know to break the lines and, and put someone through or play a ball over the top or even have a shot and no one just seemed to take a risk and it, it it's concerning because it's getting worse over the past four games there's a clear regression of performance of a lack of sort of risk taking killer instinct um directness, you know, like, we, like I'm not being arrogant and big-headed, but I'm not being, this squad should be beating the likes of Preston, Oxford, Plymouth comfortably. I'm not saying 6 7 nil, 4 5 but I'm saying we should happily be able to go and get a 1 2 nil convincing performance at home and, and just do the job. You know, there's no reason for it. That attacking line is good enough to go against every team in this league. No question, and perform excellently, but it's just not happening for whatever reason. <clears throat> it is not happening now. Is it a lack of confidence? Is it a lack of overplaying? Are the tactics too? I don't know. Are they too overcomplicated? Is the message not getting across to the lads? Is the message got across and they're so drilled to the tactics? No one's actually willing to take the game by the bollocks and do it on their own. On the flip side of that, which sounds contradictory, the the one player that I want to highlight who had a proper stinker today is Luca Colosio. He was trying to just run through players, like not in like a productive way, like literally just head head down straight into players, and he was just a headless chicken. Like he couldn't pass the ball, he couldn't run with the ball, he had no end product. He was just all over the show, like. You know, I'm asking players to be fearless and to be ruthless and to be killers, but I'm also asking them to be smart, you know, <laughs> like be, be clever with the play and, you know, be aggressive and be, you know, be courageous with the ball, but also be smart with it and, and pick the pass, pick the moment, pick the timing better. And it, it's just, it's just not there. Like all the pieces, it's like, it's like a, We've got like a really nice jigsaw at the minute, like a really, really nice jigsaw. It's an expensive one, blah, blah, blah. All the pieces are there on the pitch at the same time. They're just not putting the, I, don't, I wouldn't say physically in the right place, but it, they just need putting together. Everything just needs to come together nicely. And I think once it does, it'll be fine. It will go, it'll be fine. Now, the clock is ticking on Parker now. And like, I'm not, I'm nowhere near the boo, booze at the end of the game. And the, where I was sat today was, was pretty shit. They were, they were talking. Some of the some of the comments coming out were, you know, quite a few were asking for Parker out, which is ridiculous. He's had nine games in, you know, he's had a pretty naff start to the season with ins and outs, players coming and going and whatever. You know, really, still, he's probably only about five games in, really, if you think about it. So we've probably got another five games where then I think we can start judging and criticizing fairly at, at Parker's door if. Nothing changes. Now, you know, unbeaten out of these last three games, busy week, international break, we've come away with five points, you know, not what we should have been. I wanted nine, but whatever. I mean, you know, it's not football manager. You can't pick and choose your results whenever you want. Um, you know, we, we've got to have time to have a breather, work on some stuff um, and go again. 
after the international break. Uh, we've got another, another good run of a couple of good games, decent away games and whatnot. Um, but yeah, he needs to sort it out, basically. <laughs> he needs to just get a grip on it. Now, hopefully, after the next five games, in my opinion, I think we'll be all right. They will move. I think it'll start to, to click and start to fall in place. Back to the game today, I thought we played a team that would just give in their life for a point. They were happy to, you know, die for that point today. You know what I mean? That that point meant more to them than it will also to to any of our, any of our points this season. So whatever they can have that, that that's their point. They can be happy with that. Um, I thought the referee was appalling today. Probably in my memory, I can't think of a worse refereeing performance than that did today. He. He won from between sort of first minute seventieth minute. He wanted everything to be about him. He was stop start. He he was trying to he was trying to impose himself on the game, but he imposed himself on the game in the wrong way. Instead of getting control of players that were time wasting, that were going down easily, that were fouling, that were causing you know problems for other players, and you know, could feel it bubbling over. He was looking at other stuff, and he was stopping the game for cramps. He was stopping for the game for, you know, pointless stuff. Instead of getting a grip of the game and telling the players, pulling the captains together and saying, sort it out. Like, this is a derby. We're going to let the game fall a little bit, but sort it out. And then it never happened. He never intervened. And, you know, there was numerous times where we were getting fouled, but yet our players were protesting and coming away with bookings. But the Preston player almost seemed to be forgotten about. You know, and he was just adamant that he was going to make it all about him. Now, granted, their goal that they scored was a fucking country mile on side, so we have got away with that one. But by the by, you win some, you lose some without with without VAR. So we'll take that one as a win. And on the whole, it's probably evened itself out. But the refereeing performance really stopped the game from being a good game. It was from both sides, from both points. I think I think Preston could have had a better game and we would have had a better game if the referee was wasn't so just shit basically so that that's that enough said about him anyway so for me that game is a missed opportunity it's a drop it's a drop it's a loss of three points it's a you know it's a just drop, drop two points sorry not a loss of three points it's a missed three it's a missed two points uh, added on we should have beaten Preston it's not even up for debate I'm not even going to I don't care if you call me arrogant. We should be beating Preston. I don't really give a shit what you think. Um, we need to be more ruthless. We need some. We need better movement. I think a lot of people are very rigid and static, and instead of running into space, they run behind players and hide behind defenders. Um, Lyle Foster tends to wander. He can't run in behind, so he drops deep. But then when he drops deep, he gets the ball and he receives it too deep. But then he's too deep to run into the pitch with the ball where he needs to be. So we can't... It's just There's just a disconnect between the midfield and the forward line. Um, so when Lyle's dropping in, it's stopping Brownhill from getting beyond him. And it, it's just it's just one of them. It's just not working. There's, there needs to be a reset, a full reset. You know, just get everybody back on the same page. Give F Foster the support of Fleming from the get go. It's time to drop either Cullen, Brownhill, or uh, Hannibal. It's time to drop one of them and get Josh Loren in. Uh, settle it down a little bit. I feel like at times all three Han um, Hannibal, Cullen, and Brownhill can get a bit lost, getting scatty and ratting too much. Need someone in there to calm, keep it cool, collected. Um, I think we need to see Cole Osho pull his finger out a little bit more. I know he's trying his best, but he seems like he's going too far. I think he needs to just reel it back a bit. Um, I say our only sort of saving grace is 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 Esteve. He is our Rolls Royce. He's our saving grace. He's playing two positions, pretty game in game out. Um, and so I'm so grateful for him because I'm, if we lose him, we are absolutely knackered at the back because he's holding a lot of a lot of stuff together and he's keeping us in games and that is the one saving grace is defensively we're looking fine. I do fear that when we play a team that's better calibre than Plymouth, Oxford, Preston, whatever, like your Chef United, US, I feel like we may suffer a little bit more and it'll be a lot harder to see out that clean sheet. 
So, yeah, that's my frustration overall from the Preston game, is we should be winning. It was a shit performance. It was a shit way to end, you know, the to go into an international break. We could have gone top of the league today, um, and we didn't take that opportunity. So, for me, it's, yeah, it's not back to the drawing board, but it's back to the analysis room, Scott, and get the lads firing again. So, yeah, hopefully after the international break, we'll come back better, uh, firing a bit better, and we can get a good uh, good result against Sheffield Wednesday, I think it is. Might be wrong. Probably am. Who cares? Up the Clarets.